Hello everybody, I am Mr. Gaming Guitarist, and the brand new episode of Supergirl just finished, and it's time to review it. So this episode is, of course, the second episode of Season 2. It was, this episode was titled, The Last Children of Krypton, and like I always say, this is a full spoiler review, so if you have not seen this episode yet, please do not watch my review, because I'll be talking to you as if you watched it, and... So if you don't want to be spoiled, please don't watch my review until after you've watched this episode. So let's jump right into this episode. I thought this was really good. I thought this was even better than the season premiere. Because with the season premiere, you know, it's like you have to get used to a new thing. But this time, they just went straight ahead after everything's been established. So we're able to move forward. And uh, the thing I liked is that there was a lot more depth to this episode you got a lot more things going on with our characters and you got to see uh the interactions and the relationships with people grow and expand and i re i really enjoyed it and this episode had a lot of different things going on within it and but it didn't to me it never really felt overcrowded or anything so that is the one thing i really enjoyed so, uh, so first off, we got to see Supergirl and Superman uh, have a montage of uh, fighting crime together. We got to see them extinguish a burning building, and then they stopped the getaway car. But the one thing I thought was really funny was how they kept shooting them, even though, why do they keep using their bullets, even though they know that it's not going to work on them? And then this one guy tries to punch Superman, and then he just says, If bullets aren't going to work, what makes you think punching will? <laughs> Uh, so next we get to see Metallo wake up from, uh, he finally gets his powers. So now we finally got to see Metallo. So next up after that, we find out that, uh, John and Superman are still not getting along. And, you know, and Car and Alex says, I thought you told Carl you'll be nice. And he says, I said I'll try to be nice. <laughs> and yeah, well, he isn't doing that. And at this point, he isn't really doing that great of a job trying now, is he? But then, next up, so we find out that Wynn has to make Superman and Supergirl brand new suits. And, uh, and then he says, no pressure. I have to, and I loved how Wynn just says, there's no pressure. I have to make Superman's new suit. <laughs> Uh, so next up, we find out that Kara and Alex invite Clark to watch Veep during Sister Night. <laughs> and so apparently Clark Kent is a big fan of Veep. So uh, next up, we get to see, uh, we get to see Kent continue to have this weird fascination with Clark. And she just has, watching Clark Kent walk away is like transcend all meditation. <laughs> I thought that line was really funny, and I really enjoy how, um, I really enjoy seeing Cat, um, uh, Cat Grant in the show, and it's kind of sad that she won't be a regular on the show anymore, because she, I always thought that she continuously, uh, is one of the best parts of the show. Like she, uh, Callista Flockhart, always does such a good job playing Cat Grant. So it's sad we're not going to see her there anymore. But, uh, and it's funny how they were able to work that into the story because, from what I've heard, because they shoot the show in Vancouver, uh, Cat Grant is, and of course, Callista Flockhart lives in LA. So they found a way in the story to make her not be a regular anymore, to not be, to have Cat Grant take a lead, uh, take a leave of absence and but the thing is you know you can tell how much uh how much cat means to Kara so when you saw her go away and then you just hear her say I don't know what it's I can't imagine being here without you you know that's that was heartbreaking and uh yeah you can really tell how much it means and that almost got me that just their her deli their delivery in that scene almost broke me because but i was able to power through it i was able to power through it i did not break any goddamn tears during that scene but it was close it was real close so uh so then but in the meantime we find out that kara has a new boss 
And it's this guy that at first just seems like a male version of Cat Grant, where this I don't even remember what his name was, but he seemed grumpy as all hell, sort of like a clone. But of course, you know, this is only the first time we've seen him, so we'll probably get to see him continue to grow and develop. But anyways... So we, f so we find out in the episode that, of course, Clark has to go back to Metropolis, but um, not until they find out that that it's Corbin and they attack Superman and Supergirl because he has a kryptonite heart. And so I kept wondering, how are they exactly, do they fight a person with a kryptonite heart? Well, you do that by having Wynn create brand new kryptonite shields for them and I thought that that was really good and it's funny how you can't make a brand new suit but you can make a, like a kind of like a mini shield that covers your logo <laughs> and the one thing that I found really funny in that uh, intro scene in that action scene is that Superman just swats Metallo like a fly I thought that was that was fucking badass so then there was a ship so then later on, you know, uh, Superman's very mad at John because he says, how can there be a kryptonite outside of the DEO? And then they start arguing saying, hey, Kara got hurt. I almost got killed. What the hell is going on? And then, you know, they start getting into it. And then Wynn says everything that the audience keeps saying. Oh, my God. Superman and Martian Manhunter uh, are... Are about to fight this is terrible and awesome because that is exactly what we are all thinking so i'm glad that they put out a hint to it saying exactly what the viewers were thinking at that time so then in the middle of that cadmus announces itself to the world almost similar to the way how um mr robot in how f society announces their messages to the world it kind of reminded me a little bit of that uh so Later on, we get to see... <sighs> so later on, we get to see a scene of Kara's new boss telling her to get her entitled ass out of here. And so he just seems extremely rough. And you, and it's so funny seeing her get really mad, and yet she can't, she doesn't know how to properly throw back any insults. So... Uh, it was really funny seeing her struggle with that. So then we find out that uh, later on we get to see Superman and Martian Manhunter go to the Fortress of Solitude. And it was really nice to see it. And it was in that point where they finally figure out uh, that, that there was this um, element from Krypton that got inside his hand, that got inside Superman's hand. So later on, we get to find out exactly what happens there. So next up, we find out that uh, Kara uh, is considering moving to Metropolis and Alex gets mad at that because she says, oh yeah, things will be much safer here at National City without me. Mm, I don't think they are. Because, uh, because I mean, that's Supergirl City. Why would she want to move to Superman if Clark is already there? So, then she says, so then it, Alex is mad because it feels like all she, all she did her entire life is do everything for Kara, and now she wants to go away. So... You know, I can I can understand, you know, I'm more on Alex's side about this, but then she says, I gave up my medical career to go into the DEO for you. And she's really mad at, at her here. And then she said, and then she just has the, the one final blow that felt like, oh, damn, that was a, that was a hard hit. That was a hard hitter there when she just says, does Clark understand what it was like for him to abandon you with us? It's like, damn, that is a, that's quite the something to say, Alex. Jesus. <laughs> so we find out that now Metropolis gets attacked by the other Metallo who got converted. Who I believe was the Cadmus assistant there. So then uh, so then Wynn tells Alex about while he's making the new suits. He tells her, family's not about seeing who does more. It's about showing up. 
and later on they use that to find they find out because kryptonite's radioactive you can find a trace of it in the air on someone so then they find out who the mole and the deo is they find out they're unloading the kryptonite over to cadmus and of course alex follows her there follows the guy there and that's when he finds out that he is in that he is working with cadmus and it's at this point where we finally see this one lady i forget who her name is but she's a doctor from cadmus and she works with her and she and i really like and it's funny too how she convinces her that the aliens are a threat and how alex says i stabbed a kryptonian with a sword made out of kryptonite wait until just imagine how dangerous i am and wait until i get my hands up because after i get my hands on my dad i'm coming back for you and i really enjoyed that scene so later on we get to see we get to see um a big old fight sequence happen and i thought that was really well done and then and then of course supergirl shows up the last minute helps out so we finally get to see where that scene came from in the trailer where she catches the bolt then punches the guy out came from uh, that scene so next oh shit uh i lost my place in my notes where was i oh yep yeah. so then we find so then we get another um another action sequence where we find out where superman and supergirl are fighting in two separate places superman is in metropolis supergirl is on crypt is on uh, blah, blah, blah. supergirl is still in a, is in national city and while they're fighting uh, the two metallos rip off their anti kryptonite shields and then at the last minute we find out holy shit martian manhunter is there to help superman so i'm glad we finally get to see the Mar the full-on martian manhunter costume again and it was so fucking cool to see superman and martian manhunter team up together i really enjoyed that and of course and then we get to see alex in this goddamn power suit well I would say it's more of a power exosuit that gives her all this strength where she throws the uh, this uh, the spear or like this metal spear into the guy's kryptonite heart while Kara fucking breaks the guy's arm, uh, breaks Corbin's arm, and I really like seeing team-ups like that. So, anyways, I thought yet another action sequence very that's well done. So next up, Supergirl talks to Cat before she leaves, and he tells her that. Um, and I really enjoy the the chat that they had together because he tells her, I mean, she tells her that uh, we all have to keep moving forward, and uh, change is going to be hard. And then she says, "I really, uh, I haven't woken up in a single day where I didn't know what tomorrow was going to look like." So I was re I'm really glad that uh, Supergirl was able to, excuse me, yeah, felt like I was getting hiccups. Anyways, uh, where we got to see Supergirl, um, I was really glad that we got to see Kara have one last scene with Cat, and then we saw Supergirl have one last scene with Cat. I really liked how we were able to get both of those in the episode. So later on, um, so then we find out that James is now the new boss at CatCo. We were wondering where the hell was he this whole episode? He was just right there. And he just, uh, so now, in addition to being friend zoned by Kara, he is now her boss. But it's really interesting because I thought that he was just a, f just a photographer. Looks like he is going to be the new boss now. So I wonder what it's like going from being a photographer to now being the number one, uh, to now being the boss of CatCo. We'll have to see how that plays out. And later on, I, and then next up, we get to see the scene of uh, of Kara like slam down her report on uh, the new on the new boss's desk, saying, "Here it is, 500 words about the attack 
on bo about both metallo attacks and i like how she's really assertive and then she just says you're not a reporter and then she just starts getting really mad and i love how he how he tells her you're not then and he tells her you're as bad at insults as you are at reporting and then he just says come back tomorrow <laughs> i thought that that was really well done it's just it's funny. It's funny. It's funny just how fucking adorable she she is when she's trying to be mad and assertive, and she's trying to be very firm and assertive. Just like you know how Plankton tells SpongeBob, you gotta be assertive, and Kara tries to be that, and you can tell that's not who she is. But and yet, and yet, uh, she's very assertive as Supergirl, and yet she's trying to make Kara this thing. It's just so fucking funny to watch. <laughs> So anyways, uh, then we see Superman go back to Metropolis and Perry White calls him up and then he and then he t just tells him I'll have it there in a jiffy bringing up old bring up old school uh, old school uh, words and then he just says jiffy is a measurement. <laughs> So next up, uh, the alien wakes up and then we find out the alien from the pod wakes up and chokes Kara and we get credits and we get no after credit scene this time. So anyways, that's it. I really, now I'm sorry if I wasn't a, uh, I don't, I still don't know how I am on TV reviews. I keep doing them because I want to be good at them. But uh, it felt like I was rambling and didn't have much to say, but let me know what you thought of this episode. I'm really looking forward to what's going to happen next because it looks like in the next episode for the preview, we'll finally get to see Linda Carter as the president. I, I still that I still can't believe they managed to get her, but goddamn, once again continuing the trend of the CW getting the getting the old DC actors to come back as new characters. I love that trend and I can't wait to see what that's gonna look like. So yeah, I'm really excited for the next episode. So anyways, thank you so much for watching my episode review for this episode of Supergirl. And I will see you for next week's episode. And of course, I will see you tomorrow for my review of The Flash. So, see you there. Bye.